Hello and welcome to Sky News. Two childhood friends who travelled to Syria to fight alongside Islamist rebels have pleaded guilty to planning a terrorist attack on their return home. They were arrested as they flew back to the UK in January after the mother of one of the men found a note from her son and went to the police. Traces of military-grade explosives, including TNT and nitroglycerine, were found on their clothes. Sky senior correspondent Michelle Clifford reports. The weapon is for real, the location Syria, but this young man is a long, long way from home. A childhood friend beside him in the war-torn nation. 22-year-olds who swapped life in Birmingham for jihad abroad. These images capture Mohammed Nahim Ahmed and Yusuf Zubair Zawa en route to Heathrow Airport at the start of their journey last year, a journey which had been months in the planning. Here Ahmed is inside the terminal, preparing to board the plane, a ticket to Turkey in his hand. The pair had convinced their families they were off on holiday. The enhanced radicalisation of their thinking that will take place, their training and exposure to weapons and explos explosives uh, will be uh, very worrying. It is a really, really dangerous arena, even if they don't get hurt or killed, uh, and does pose a genuine threat to the UK. It was this letter which alerted Sarwar's family to his real purpose of travel. Found by his mother, it chronicled his plans. He'd written, I will be going to Syria, Asham, which I will help the oppressed and fight Allah's enemies there. She alerted the police in a search of Ahmed's home threw up more evidence that the young men had signed up for jihad. In an online conversation with a foreign extremist, Ahmed asks, would the brothers in Yemen accept me? The man replies, you can be a mujahid wherever in the world you are. Look at 7-7 from your country. You also know that al-Qaeda and the Taliban, other groups have mujahideen all over the world, and some are being sent back to the EU with a task. You understand? Police claim a desire to fight took the men to Syria where they spent eight months amongst rebel factions. Thousands of war zone images of the pair with weapons were later discovered. On their computers, propaganda to Islamist groups including ISIS currently waging war in Iraq. These are revelations which have stunned so many who knew them back in Britain, fueling concerns about the radicalization of young Muslims. It is the youngster who on their own willingness they decided and they were telling lies to the, even to their parents and I feel sorry and I sympathize actually for the parents of these two kids. Their admission of preparing to carry out terrorist acts shows they were serious about jihad but it's these images which will speak just as loudly about the intent of men who grew up in Britain. Michelle Clifford, Sky News. And later today, here on Sky News, you can see a special report on the radicalisation of young British Muslims who head out to wage holy war in the Middle East. Jason Farrell meets the man who claims to be training UK teenagers on Syrian soil. What are the youngest people you're seeing from, say, from the UK? I think it's 16, 17, 17. So teenagers? Teenagers. But it's not like booking a beach holiday or something like that. I mean, you say it's easy. It is. It is people book holidays, <laughs> but they end up in Syria. 